Before they had met, Meghan Markle made a derogatory remark about William and Kate's wedding. Meghan Markle referred to Princess Kate's marriage to Prince William when she claimed that young girls dream of becoming princesses. Years before she became a member of the royal family herself, Meghan Markle conjectured that Kate Middleton's wedding was the result of a youthful fantasy. A large portion of the world watched in wonder as Prince William and Kate Middleton got married in 2011. However, not Meghan Markle, who had already begun criticizing her. She was familiar with the Big Days images and reports long before she started dating Prince Harry, like many people all across the world. According to The Mirror, she made the decision to post her resentful feelings about the event on her lifestyle blog, The Tig. While the Westminster Abbey procession in April 2011 won the hearts of millions, Meghan criticized the pomp that surrounded the event as being childhood illusions. She asserted that she had no adult aspirations of being a gorgeous princess. She uttered, little girls imagine themselves as princesses. For me, Shira, princess of power, was everything. For those of you who are not aware with the 1980s cartoon illusion, Shira is he twin man's sister and a strong, sword-wielding royal rebel. Clearly, Cinderella is not the subject here. This childhood fantasy seems to still exist in grown women. Just take a look at all the fanfare surrounding the royal wedding and the never-ending discussion about Princess Kate. Kate Middleton stunned in a gorgeous long-sleeved wedding dress created by Alexander McQueen's creative director Sarah Burton. The delicate lace work and traditional form of her dress drew praise from the media for its stunning and timeless design. The dress received high appreciation for paying homage to the customary design of royal wedding gowns while still embracing contemporary features like the V-neckline and tight waist. She also brought a bouquet made out of hyacinth, myrtle, lily of the valley, sweet william, and ivy. Initially, Kate and her assistants tried to keep the design a secret, but Ms. Burton's name was revealed a few weeks before the wedding. Middleton chose her for her quirky elegance, caution, and low profile as she works harder than ever to find her own style the Sunday Times said. According to a fashion insider, Middleton's own design ideas and Burton's in-depth expertise and comprehension of high fashion would be combined to create the outfit. Middleton intended to keep Burton's identity a secret until the nuptials, in this part of the UK, no bank holiday will be observed in honour of King Charles' coronation. Nearly the entire United Kingdom will have a bank holiday on May 8, the Monday after the coronation, but one council has rejected the notion. Council employees in the Shetland Islands won't receive a holiday in May to commemorate King Charles' coronation. The UK government has declared Monday, May 8, a bank holiday in honour of the King's ceremony, which will take place on Saturday, May 6, at Westminster Abbey. The Shetland Islands Council unanimously decided not to declare May 8 a bank holiday, which some people worry would have a negative effect on employee morale. Due to Scotland's decentralised administration, there is no requirement for local authorities to observe the coronation as a national holiday. Options had been presented to the Policy and Resources Committee of the Council, ranging from do-nothing to declaring a national holiday during which all non-essential municipal business would cease. Robert Thompson, a councillor for the North Isles, declared that he would support the do-nothing option, which would require anyone who wanted to skip work on May 8 to apply for paid vacation. The council decided to give the Queen's burial a one-time bank holiday last year, then in June they decided to relocate their post-up heli AA break to coincide with the Platinum Jubilee. On the final Tuesday of January, up heli AA, a fire festival, is held in Lerwick, Shetland. This time, though, they debated doing so two days after the incident, especially as it may cost up to £90,000.